Good afternoon, YouTube, and welcome back to Fat Cat Collections. And today I'm going to be doing another watch review. Uh, today, once again, by Sterling Original. Uh, Sterling Original, if you're not familiar with that company, basically produces a lot of uh, what I would consider dress style watches. And in a lot of the watches they make, they do a lot of skeletonized faces, and uh, which I think is just absolutely stunning. I love to see a watch face with things going on. Uh, there's nothing, in my opinion, uh, you know, kind of boring when you just see a standard face, you know. Um, not to say that I don't have watches in my collection that are your standard black face, uh, but in a lot of cases I've always said that uh, anytime you have a watch with just like a black case, a black face, uh, it really needs something more to make it pop. And that's just my opinion. You may not feel the same way. That's just what I, what I think. And I love to see... Um, on any watch, something unique on the face, whether that be some kind of precious stones, a skeletonized face, um, you know, some kind of different mother of pearls, or something unique to really make it pop. And that's one thing I love about Sterling Original. They do a lot of their watches in a skeletonized style. And so the watch I want to share with you today is called the Gemini 2. And this watch I was really excited to get my hands on because it has what's called a dual balance wheel. So you can actually see the two balance wheels agitating on the face, uh, which is absolutely stunning to look at, and it's very, very interesting to look at as well. Now, I reviewed a watch last week called the Sagittarius, which is very, very similar in design to this. So if you're looking for a watch by Sterling with a dual balance wheel system, those are your, really your two options. I don't think they make any other models in the dual balance wheel, at least not that I can find that are currently available. Uh, so this watch, let me go ahead and show you what it looks like, and I'll tell you a little bit about it, and I'm going to show you what it looks like on the wrist. Um, of the watches that Sterling has sent me, they've been so generous in sending me product to review. I, can I will continue to have a good relationship with them in reviewing their product and re-reviewing their product and doing more side-by-side -side comparisons. What I, what, you know, I, I, uh, in time, we'll de I'll decide which ones are my favorites, and we'll just keep coming back to these and tell you how they're holding up and what I think of the product, not just you know when I first receive it, but years down the road. Uh, so once again, this is the Gemini 2. I assume that reference is due to, uh, because of the dual balance wheel. It's available in three different color combinations. The first one I'm going to show you here is the one I thought was the prettiest that I ordered. This one's done in a brown alligator embossed band with, of course, your rose tone gold case, your black face, and your black, uh, uh, you know, uh, sorry, black face, black dial, and, of course, your rose tone accents on the balance wheels and, of course, on what I would consider to be the, I guess, supports for the balance wheels. I'm um, just going to go ahead and tell you a little bit more about it. We'll show you some close-ups and go from there. Um, you have Roman numeral markers, uh, polished milled bezel, which I think is a really, really interesting look on this one. I don't have any other watch that have a bezel quite like this, where it's actually got this... Oops, let me just show you the bezel here. There you go. See how it's kind of milled like that? Uh, 45 millimeters in case diameter, so you're getting closer to that larger size. Uh, anytime you start getting under 45, I'm kind of like, uh, getting a little small, but everybody's, everybody's tastes are different. Uh, stainless steel exhibition case back, of course, and you can see on this one, I love that they, they match the pendulum uh, to the face, which is kind of just that black look. It looks really, really cool against uh, the silver part of the uh, movement. Again, this is an automatic watch. Of course, it means it's self-winding. That pendulum spins, and it charges the watch. Um, this particular one here, you can also wind. It's, you can self-wind it like most of the um, Sterling watches. Cristerna cases on the front and Cristerna crystals on the front and back. Push-pull onion-style crown, which is what they use on a lot of their watches, that onion-style. 165 feet of water resistance, which seems to be pretty standard. Alligator embossed genuine leather strap, which is 24 millimeters in width and stainless steel tang buckle with the Sterling Wings logo on the back there. Um, 21,600 vibrations per hour, brushed stainless steel case. It's powered by an automatic ST9S005 with hour, minutes, and dual balance wheels, which is just was a just a real great feature for me personally. Uh, this watch can be had off the website right now for $355. Uh, that does include shipping, and I'll put links in the description where you can also pick this up through eBay and Amazon. You can see that dual balance wheel spinning, which I think is absolutely stunning to look at. And you see all the moving parts, the gears, and of course your, your main time zone at the top there. Polished case on the sides there. And that beautiful exhibition back. 
Uh, this watch does have, it's not mentioned on the site, but this watch has 40 jewels in it, uh, which is quite a lot. This is one of the uh, watches that has more jewels in it than a lot of the watches I currently own. And I believe that has something to do with the dual balance wheels and the extra moving parts in there uh, to make that whole watch come together and work. I just find it really amazing and really hypnotic look at something like this and see all the different parts in there, what makes this watch work. It's absolutely stunning, and it really is quite amazing to me. I mean, none of these parts can just be off, you know what I mean? They just have to all be, just work together perfectly. So I do find it amazing. All right, well, let me go ahead and show you what it looks like on the wrist. I have about a 7-inch wrist. I'm about five foot seven, and I weigh about 165 pounds, so all these watches look good on me. And look big on me as well. I think this is just one of the cl one of the classier ones that they make. I just like I said, I just you know I I saw a watch years ago called uh, by Jacob and Company called the Napoleon, and it actually has uh, it's a I believe it's a quad tourbillon, and uh, it it actually has the four balance wheels. It just there were so many moving parts in it, and I believe that watch had like ninety something jewels, and I was like, wow, that's just exceptional. So. You know, the watch is quite expensive. Uh, you're looking at, I believe, $500,000 for that watch. So, I mean, uh, for for my purposes, I mean, this watch right here, $355, and you have a lot of moving parts in there, and you really have something that's really, really quite uh, unique. Uh, not very often do you see two balance wheels on a watch, and definitely not for this price point. I'll get back a little bit here so you can kind of see what it looks like from a little bit more of a distance. Definitely a classy looking watch. And I, you know, I, I repeat myself a lot of times in these videos because, you know, really there's no watches that I really have here that anybody sent me or that I purchased that I really don't like. And it just really is just an exceptional looking timepiece. I really, now the only thing I have to say is I, I wish that I'm more of a, of a bracelet kind of guy, a bracelet rather than the leather band. And I like the leather band. I think it's very, very classy, but I just tend to like having that steel bracelet uh, instead of the leather or poly or whatever, you know, whatever a watch may use. So I really wish that they made uh, this watch uh, maybe in a steel bracelet version. Um, they do make a few uh, models that I've reviewed in the past, like the, um, like the symphonies and you'll have to check out my videos on these other ones here where they have the metal band they do have a lot of models with the metal band but some of the ones like this i wish they had the option to get the metal band on them uh, just because i just think it would just really take the watch to the next level but nonetheless it really is an exceptionally beautiful watch all right guys well that's my review of the sterling original gemini 2 model number 368b uh they have a big skew after this here. Dot three three four five K fifty four. I don't know why they have to overcomplicate it like that, but anyway, that's the the exact model of this watch. I'll put a link in the description where you can get this watch for the best value. It is available in two other color combinations: black bands, silver uh, silver case, or yellow gold case. If you get either of those, you're gonna have silver accents as far as or silver on the inside of the watch where the movement is and that back of the face, and then of course you're going to have a white dial on those particular two models. So uh, you be the judge on which one you like better if you decide to make a purchase. I'll go ahead and put a link in the description where any of the Gemini, uh, Gemini 2s that are available will pop up so you can make the choice. If maybe you don't like this particular color combination, uh, you can go ahead and make the purchase and get the silver one if you like. So guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, have a wonderful day. If you like the content, remember to subscribe to the channel. Uh, over 7,700 subscribers and uh, seems to keep going up every single day. It's going to be a real milestone once I hit that 10,000 uh, subscriber mark. Uh, it's been a long time coming, and slowly but surely we're getting there. Uh, and that's what's really great about me having the opportunity to review more product. Uh, one guy said to me the other day, who's sending me a watch from Delta Watch Company, uh, he said, he said, oh man, I know who you are, you're the Invicta guy. And that's true, I am the Invicta guy, but I like all watches, and not everybody likes Invicta. So it's really great to be able to share um, other watches that 
aren't necessarily uh, ones that I've worn in the past, but might be something that somebody else might like. Now, there's a lot, so many different watches out there. There's always something for everyone, and there's so many different unique and wonderful styles of watches. I'm just happy to have the opportunity to uh, to go ahead and share this stuff with you guys. As always, uh, thank you very much for watching. Sterling Original, thank you so much for your generosity, and uh, we're going to keep pumping out these videos for you folks. Thank you very much. Have a great day, guys.